Connor's getting ready to put the heads on. I think so. I'd like to get that done today. Now we we did talk about putting heads on. I think or, we put the heads on because. Uh, or put the injection pump on. What I'll do is I'll bring this to top dead center, and then when we get the heads on, I'll put the valve train on, and then we'll see if uh, we'll see what the valves are doing, and then we'll know whether we're on the real top dead center or we're 180 degrees out of phase. Right. We don't want to do that. Yep. Pretty easy way to check that. Because at real top dead center, the valves should both be closed. Right. That's how you know. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Because we don't want to be 180 degrees out of phase with... I mean, it's one thing with a, with a distributor you just Chevy pick up. And, yeah, Chevy okay. distributor, but diesel tractor injector pump, uh, that'd be a pain. Well, there's a timing mark on this somewhere, on the pulley, that lines up with this. And they want it 29 before. Of course, we could make it a little, a little like 32 before. And of course, we didn't rebuild this motor. It's just getting put back together. Yeah, so there well, is still. But you know what? There's no ridge there. We rebuilt there's the a bottom. carbon mark. This uh, engine is very fresh. It's not. It's not old. Yeah. I don't know. There's not. This but like this here, I mean, you see the the coloration change. There's no ridge on it. So, so if you really want to get crazy on top dead center, I got that tech bridge. I was thinking that the mark on the pulley won't, but it won't. It could be 180 out. That's right. Is there a mark on that pulley? I don't see a mark. No, I mean, there could be a mark on the pulley that causes. No, but it'll still be 180 out. I figured. I don't know. Is that the right pulley? Yeah, it's the one with the engine. I don't know. It's so far away from that timing edge. Well, let's, let me turn it over again. No, that doesn't. That's not even what I mean. Put those, I'll tell you what, put the put two of those push rods down in the hole. If they're the same exact length, then we know we're top dead center. Well, I don't like that. Where's the gear for the injection pump? Top dead. <laughs> yeah, it's top dead. But if you want to double check it, spin it around. See what it looks like. Go ahead and spin it. What's that opening? Exhaust. Coming up on compression. That's it. That's top dead. I figure. Not the really the same. This doesn't make much sense to me. No, this one's higher. See, that's the timing mark right there. And that's the other timing mark right there. So there's supposed to be a notch in this cat in this pulley? There should be something on that pulley. I don't see anything on that pulley. That's the dozer pulley. It is. So we don't have the tractor pulley, we have the tractor book. We need degrees. It tells us to line up the mark on the pulley. Yep. Which Obviously, we don't have. And then mesh the line on the pump. And then mesh the line on the pump, yeah. Okay, so. So you set this pulley at 29 before top dead center. Yes. And then you mesh that, and then everything lines up. And then there's, a, there's, a, there's finite adjustments by turning the pump. You might be able to do that with the dial indicator. No. Yeah, if you want to do some if you, quantum if physics. If you divide the stroke number with the right. 180 degrees, uh -huh. you'll get a you'll get a up and down distance of how much 29 degrees is uh -huh. in rotation. Uh -huh. Okay. I think one what, one thing we ought to do is get a notch on that pulley. Hey, there's a mark. Found a mark right there. And there's another mark. There's two marks. There's one mark with one dash and one mark with two dashes. That's top dead right there. There's well, stuff written on here. Yeah, there's marks. Connor's marks. Where are they? They're right here. You can barely read them. So we got to clean that up. I can't even read them. Spray them with some parts wash. Let's see. Yeah. Spray them with starting fluid. The thing to do is to find the marks now. Mark them again. Put one big mark on the one that we know we need. Yeah, there's a five there, five degree. It's, it's showing everything. Still confused why my push rod scenario is not working out. All right, so these are the marks. You can't even see them. <laughs> They're can't, very faint. I can't see them. Very, very faint. Might need to even upgrade to a, well, I've seen them now. I think what we do is put a little paint dash on the one that we need, right? 20, 29. 29 degrees advanced, huh? That's what yes. they want you to set the pump? Yeah. You want to try and make more power? Yeah, why not? Go 30 degrees or something? 32? Well, that's what they recommend for the 1170s and the 1070, 1170, they're the 30s. It'd be hard starting, though. Hmm. 
That's the downside. It won't start as easy as if it's... Let's put it where the book says. Okay. It's going to make enough power anyways. Could you just barely see them? They're there. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, I see them. Look at that. That's like in the Lord of the Rings when Gandalf puts the ring of power into the fire and then all of a sudden you get all the writing. What? What, you don't remember that part? No. Really I was too busy staring at the midget guy who was really big beard. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and those orcs freak me out too. Gosh, with a beard like that, people would be upset if you don't want to talk about. <laughs> Let me clean it up a little more. Why you just... Gosh, you're gonna wipe them off. No. <laughs> it's working great. So, I think that- I think it ran out. I think so, which means that's top dead, right? No, that says five. That's top dead, that's five. Oh, that's five after. That's that's zero right there. Five See the zero? Yep, I get ya. Where's 29? Wow, that's a small range. That's 30 there, right? That's 20. That's 20, it's not zero. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, jeez. You lose count? Yeah. That's 30, you said? I think so, but I don't know. No, it's 35. That's 35, okay. So there's 15 dashes. So this big line is 30, and that's 29. Okay, you wanna put a little? Uh, yeah, I can't even see the damn thing hardly. Let me get a punch. A chisel? Yeah, something to chisel it. Something to put a nice big heavy mark there? Yep. Then at least we know where that is. You're still cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really clean. So can see those, look at that. Okay, see that, you can that see. does look better. That says 35. Yep, and that says. There's one that says, says 20. 20, and then it's five. Roll it right up on top so we can both see it good. There you go. Oh, it rolls easy. Five and five. Yeah. yeah. So that's five degrees retarded. Uh huh. That's five degrees advanced. That's top dead zero center right there, which we ought to double check that too. Yeah. If I bring it to that point. Yep. Bring me your light again. It should be about there. It looks it on top. Oh, yep. yeah, that's it, man. That's so, it right there. Good news. Now, make note, take note in your mind how you're seeing it. Oh, yeah. You're sighting it like you're a right Sighting rifle. it right down that straight edge. Yeah. There's a timing edge. It's labeled like that. Yeah. But it's so far away, it makes it hard, I think. It is, but if you stand just perfect and you close one eye, it's good. Okay. Unless we get the deck bridge out and we zero it right in, which we could do, but we don't need to. Don't we're really within need to. range. So... We're trusting their marks, which means we need to count to 29. That's which what I think says, their marks. Right? Their marks are good, though, you know, so we can trust them. If that's zero and that's five and that's 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you see, the next one's a bigger mark. Next that's, one's that's a bigger 30. mark. So. And the one after that's 35. After. You want to go to this one. Wait a minute, that's weird. Why is the 35 there? Because. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Is this where 35 is? I know, written? I wanted to make sure that. I wanted to make sure that each dash is in 2 degrees or. So, so it's really one line towards you from that big line with no number by it. Correct. And that's, so I'm going to go right here. Can you see? You need the light better. Big line, 29 degrees right there. Yeah, you give it a Pull smack. Pull it until it does that. So we know we can't deny it then. And then. Beautiful. Oh, it's right in between the two. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It gets us in the ballpark. That's where we want to be. <laughs> yeah, that was not. <laughs> Oops. That's our 29 and a half degree. That's 29 and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so we are timing it up just a hair. <laughs> at least we know where we're at. Yeah, okay. we, can, we can see it. I mean, I, I see the reflection of that mark. Oh, geez. It would be hard to check. Yeah. Anyways, so. We should put, we could take a Sharpie and put a mark right on it, too, just so we know. But. We, we can see that one. I know, it's there. Okay. I definitely made it big enough. Yeah, you did. Okay, good. That's awesome. So, let's bring the light back over. I'll sight down it, and we'll be there. We'll be ready to set pump. Right there. Nice. It's 29 degrees. And we're top dead center. Or you could just time it by eyeball. We didn't need to do any of that stuff, because we got the damn marks. But All right. Okay. Got that figured out. Phew. 
It was a uh, burn burner. <laughs> Run some, get some B-roll. Yeah, that's a uh, YouTuber jargon for tape that ain't B-roll. B-roll? I don't know. I think all we make is C-roll. So there's no dowel for the head for the head gaskets. Well, the liner plays the liners. Them. The liners them. place them pretty well. Boy, we got to be careful with that one. We do. Well, the two of us are going to set the head straight down on. It's going to be perfect. In fact, maybe what we'll do is have a bolt and a bolt going through. How am I going to grab it now? Things move around? I don't think so. It's not on square. It was very, very close. Mm -hmm. Oh, the gas game would stay in there. Yeah. Should. And it should be locked into that. Should be locked in where it belongs. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's right. It's a nice and flush there, flush there. Yeah, because if that jumped over, yeah, it, would, it, would, it would cut the fire ring of the gasket on the sleeve, and that would be we could good. Take a more accurate shot of that with the other gasket. Say we set the other end, then we torque everything at once. Yeah. So I gotta check that one over and make sure it's all clean and ready to go too. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no alignment dowels or sleeves. You just wiggle it around like you know an eighth of an inch all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing to hold that gasket in there. Sleeve pr yeah. protrudes a little bit. Other than that, it's kind of on its own. Well, that's kind of how it's supposed to be. That's gonna crush down. It's gonna put pressure on it. It's got this other. This other lip here of this, of know, this sleeve. It's, it's like know? nothing. It's like what? 30 thousandths maybe? It's Not supposed even. to. On some engines you actually could you actually shim the sleeve up. Yeah. You know? And what happened with our 830 engine was this cracked and went down a little bit. Yeah. It allowed the sleeves to drop. You got a leak, head gasket leak. Yep. Because of a crappy block. So get that place just well, You said the seven perfect. the seven thirties and the nine thirties don't do that and the eight thirties and eight thirties and ten thirties did are known for uh, block cracking between the cylinders. Yeah. The pairs. Uh, seven thirties and nine thirties are Well that's because the bore's bigger and they they, put they had a, exactly they take some meat away. Just enough to where they are more likely to do what this one did. So buyer beware with those. Yeah I guess. Yep. But the 730s and the 930s are supposed to be good with when it comes to that. Oh, man, we had a 1030. I'm that was a sure. powerful brute. I love that tractor. Yeah. They're all known for head problems, the earlier engines, but I think these aren't. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. yeah they made some definite improvements in the 70 series over the 30s. So let's pop this one on. We've got this lined up pretty good. All right. It should work out for us. If we go straight down on that. went wrong again. These heads are heavy. Straight down, right? Yep. Oh, that's perfect. It's close. Lines right up. I almost wonder if you ought to bolt the manifolds on before you took the heads on. Connor? Well, I think we ought to read the book on that. Because that would square it up. What's this plate? Well, I don't know. Connor's over there muttering about finding nuts and bolts. But we got the heads on. Now we're working on going to get the pump mounted on. We should put the pump in. Here goes on. We've got to look through this sight hole. That plug that comes out, we look at that. Yep. Probably lines up with that dash you're talking about. That's an alignment dash. I have an alignment dash here. I'm going to take the book home tonight and study it. Well, there's an alignment dash there that probably lines up to something we, uh, on the pump. We marked everything with a sharpie before. We did, but that was it wasn't set to top dead center, so it's not going to help us much. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.